Check, check, checky, check, check, checky, check, 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 my check, my check. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, troops, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the channel, Mark. That's me, my words, where we cover trading, traveling, and training. So this video, excuse me, do a quick review of yesterday's action in our favorite meme stocks, AMC and GME. A quick look at the charts, a few point things to point out. Before we do get started, please hit that subscribe button down there. We are almost at the 100 mark, which is our first target on this channel. Uh, help us to get there. Help us grow. The first milestone we get, the coveted custom URL for the channel. Okay, thanks for that. Moving on then. So first to AMC, quite a very good day for AMC. Finishing up almost 26% in the green, $2.88 up at a closing price of $14.04. We were straight out of the traps on a big push up. Uh, I did put the Fibonacci's on this just to check the the uh, the pullback and we got a healthy pullback down to that 50% area and we kicked on from there. From there, pretty much for the rest of a couple of hours or so, a few hours or so, we were testing this resistance around the 1409 area. Again, this is not exact. It is just, you know, a, a guesstimate. Um, <coughs> as we were trading in that channel, 1334, 1409 channel we did get a nice double bottom here which indicated some nice strength and we carried on and we moved up oh eventually breaking that resistance at 1409 pushing right up above the next resistance at 1425 uh, and we did have a high of the day of 1449 very very nice indeed we didn't manage to hold that and then the first bunch of shenanigans started. Uh, I have marked this up because there's some interesting patterns on the candles here. So here you can see uh, what's called an evening star where you have a bullish green candle, a little bit of a push me pull me candle as I like to call it, a battle there. No buyers and sellers not really winning, not really losing, followed by uh, a bearish candle that generally signifies a sell off and sure enough, bang bang away we go and away we went again we were testing that area at 1425 trying to get back up over it was rejected a few times and we got another big sell-off there uh, another thing to notice here was we did have then uh, a bit of sideways movement for a few minutes and then we got the uh, bullish bear uh, bullish engulfing candle there where your green candle fully engulfs the previous red candle that does signify a move up uh, and we got a little bit there we then traded sideways again another bullish engulfing pattern we traded sideways that was confirmed with a bullish hammer candle uh, which we did see a little bit of a drop there but nothing spectacular and then we pushed back up again to that 1425 area where we tried the resistance again three four times and it failed then a little bit of sideways action before another really um, bit of a sell-off. Uh, there was two going into the close. Um, we did drop down significantly, but what we did manage to do was maintain that nice trajectory uh, for the day overall. So we took a nice line there. Uh, we did rebound off that. We dipped down ever so slightly there. You can just see that below that ascending level of support. We did drop down but we managed to maintain it. Again, another attack just before the close, but some big candles, again, a, uh, a bullish hammer candle there, uh, just pushing us back over that line into a close of 14.04. So all in all, a good day for AMC. Uh, we did see an increase in volume, uh, 279 million plus minus, uh, which is well above the average, over 120 million above the average on the 10 day so a good day for amc expecting the same today there are rumors abound that amc had such a good day because people are selling off in gme and coming and jumping on the bandwagon here take from that what you will do your own due diligence don't believe anybody else's hype train follow your own strategy as i do these candle patterns here i am putting a series of videos together to give a better explanation, a more detailed explanation on their 
composition. So please do look out for those in the future. Quickly on to GME then. Oh, what a day. What an absolute stinker of a day. Uh, we did open quite nicely. We were following this 270, 280 channel, which we sat in pretty much for all of Friday. Um, going back, in fact, going back, uh, yep, yeah, all of Friday, we pretty much sat in that channel and we were looking to maintain that. We did get a, a bearish signal there with a death cross where the 50 MA moves below the 200 MA. Uh, and sure enough, bang, we got hit. We got absolutely whacked right down to a price of 226 there. We did recover fairly quickly and then we held the channel. We never really managed to get back above uh, that 250 level with any... any um, significance volume completely dried up uh there was almost no volume trade in here uh, and then eventually we started to peter out to the rest of the day we actually dropped below <coughs> that previous level of support at 225 <coughs> we hit a daily low of 206.32 finally rebounding to close at 2014 16.7 percent down that story continued into after hours although it did trade between the red and the green i think after hours it did close another couple of dollars down however we don't tend to look at that on this channel we stick mostly to the trading hours one thing to note on these charts is they are the one minute chart so for a more expanded view uh, please do look at larger charts, i.e. the 30 minute, the one hour, the four hour, the daily, wherever you want to go, just to confirm what you have seen. But we do focus primarily on the one minute chart on this channel. So going into today then, uh, GME is on the SSR uh, list, so there will be some protection there. However, if you read some of the uh, information online, it does appear that the hedge funds may have found a way around uh, that rule uh, and they are shorting GME through e ETFs. ETFs. Uh, so again, do your own due diligence, do your own reading and take from that what you will. That's all I've got time for this morning on that video, troops. So wherever you are in the world, stay safe, happy trading and catch you soon. Cheers.